Hey Sagittarius, welcome to another reading. It is the Sagittarian Goddess. Sagittarius, you have the Five of Pentacles. Sagittarius, I'm getting that you are tired of people coming in and out of your energy, in and out of your life. But you're taking responsibility for the part that you play in this, Sagittarius. This, this is the most important part of this message is what I'm getting. You're taking responsibility also for the part you play in people coming in and out of your energy. Ain't that some men, Sagittarius? It's like, well, damn. Tell me more about this five of pentacles that you're sick of. You're sick of it. <laughs> you have the six of pentacles. So, yes, it's something about the past, something about how you are paying attention to your patterns. You're paying attention to your patterns. You're really looking at, you know, the part that you play, looking at your past, looking at the part that you play in this. But, but since you have the five of pentacles going to the six of pentacles, you are coming into a better understanding of what's going on in your life, why things are happening the way that they are happening, what lessons you are learning from this situation and the beauty of it all. That is really good because you see this man, he's um showing gratitude to these two people, but at the same time, he is holding a scale. So you definitely could be connected to a Libra. You could be connected. To, if you're not connected to a Libra, you could just be um embodying the libra the libra energy of you know balance and a equal give and take here in Sagittarius so that's really good that you're coming to an understanding you're also taking responsibility for your own actions but you're also holding those accountable for theirs that's beautiful lots of balance coming in for you and you have the four of swords. Yes, you're coming you're coming into a, a very painful truth of your own Sagittarius, which, which is really good, which is really good. This is going to help you grow um mentally and it's going to it's going to teach you to have a little bit more of empathy for for others and and other people's situations. So that's really good. It's like you're you're you could be in isolation. You could be resting. You could be taking a time out to rest and really really think about the stuff that you you're you're feeling. Sagittarius, that's really good. You have the Ace of Wands. You're going to feel renewed after this period, Sagittarius. You're going to feel very renewed. You're going to feel even more passionate about the things that you are passionate about. You're going to, you know, feel strong. Like, you, like you're going to be able to be yourself in this new season. That's really good, Sagittarius. Okay, tell me more about this Ace of Wands because there, there's some really good energy coming in for you, Sagittarius. That's very exciting because I see you standing strong and you, you're feeling like, you know, you can start again, a new beginning. But with this new beginning, it's also a new mindset, you know, a new strength that you have going forward. And that's really good, really good for you, Sagittarius. Very inspirational. Yeah, the magician. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I see you feeling uh very uplifted after this period. So Sagittarius, you're you're really learning that this this situation is meant for you to like learn this, learn this lesson and not let it con consume you here with this four of swords. I'm getting some of you could have been really down about the situation, but while you were down, you came to terms with the situation. Okay. This situation is what it is, and let me learn from it because earlier I did pull the higher front higher fun card for you with the one card pool what would be your focus uh for yesterday and it was the higher fun so i'm getting that you are coming into this higher fun energy and you're you're becoming renewed in your own energy with the with this one with this ace of wands here very confident moving forward you could have battled with some insecurities and those are coming to pass uh, a new cycle has begun for you with this magician card you could be connecting with others too the Knight of Cups, uh, emotional connection with someone. You could have a love offer or someone, you know, maybe asking you out. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups here who's, who's coming in. You know, this could be you. This could be you uh, being this Knight of Cups. Okay, I feel renewed now. I've healed in this area. Okay, now I'm ready to, after, after loving myself, now I'm able to, you know, share love with someone else. This could possibly be you as well, Sagittarius justice 
you definitely could be connected to a Libra. Look at that scale right there, you guys. So, or you could just be ready to balance out and um, you could really be ready for harmony or, you know, equal give and take in your connections, in your work, in your um, friendships, your relationships, all of that. Just, it's like you're, you're ready to just be in balance. You could have Libra in your chart. You, you could have Libra in your chart. Beautiful, but you're definitely getting justice. Like this new beginning is like your justice for whatever obstacle that you had to face with this five of pentacles. It's like you learned the lesson. So you're able to come out of the situation so beautifully because you allowed yourself to learn the lesson. You allowed yourself to sit in what you were in instead of I'm getting you didn't run away from this. You didn't run away. And I'm getting Sagittarius. You could in the past have a tendency to like run away from your problems, run away from your issues or, you know, sweep them under the rug. You didn't do that this time. You didn't do that this time with the six of pentacles. You sat in your mess is what I'm getting. You sat in there like you literally laid there and I'm getting you could have been down you know, you could have went through the motions, you know, emotionally, because I see you coming out from this magician with this Ace of Wands with this Knight of Cups. Beautiful. All right. Tell me more about this justice for Sagittarius. The Ten of Swords. Yep. It's, it's over. It's a new cycle. That's why you're getting justice for this. Because you've been through the worst mentally with this four swords. You've thought about it. You could have talked about it. You could have been to therapy. You could have done multiple things. And this process of you allowing yourself to go through these motions and not run from this situation... You grew out of this situation. This is why you get justice. You, you. A lot of you could be feeling a, a sense of peace just coming over your, over your body, over your mind, and although things can seem, you know, overwhelming around you at certain times, Sagittarius, you know that the worst is over. You know that the worst is over with this Ten of Swords. It's done. It's complete. This cycle has completed itself. That is, it has ended. You're going into a new cycle with new knowledge, new confidence, new opportunities, new love. Wow, beautiful. What's next for Sagittarius? Because I'm getting a lot of you are going to be very confident in what you can do. You want to be very confident. You are going to be very confident or you are very confident in what you can do and in what you can manifest. You're confident in that. What are you manifesting, Sagittarius? Whatever it is, it's going to be amazing. And I and I get that you feel this so deeply in your in, in your spiritual self, your higher self knows the potential. And so I'm getting that a lot of you are working towards going towards those um those goals and setting setting goals for yourself and actually taking the steps to complete those goals. That is very beautiful and that is amazing, Sagittarius. Good for you for staying focused on that. And remember, it may not look like everyone else is Sagittarius. And you're I'm getting that you've learned this. You've learned that, okay, this is my stuff. This is the stuff that I need to sit with. I need to work with. This is me. You had to really detach yourself from others. I'm getting you could have been codependent in the past when it came came down to your stability, your emotional stability, your mental stability, your physical stability, and you're coming out of that mindset because you know that you are destined for greatness. You are destined for something beautiful because you have justice here and you're getting justice for going through those ten of swords, for being down like you were down. For going through the things that you, you went through. Although those things were painful and unexpected and wild. Said, I'm sorry about that, you guys. So, although this experience, these experiences were very painful, life-changing. They taught you major lessons, Sagittarius. And that is a part of your justice. Because you have the wisdom. Like, that's the best gift that a person can have. In life is wisdom. 
knowledge, through your experience, through the actual experience. Look at you laying there. What does Sagittarius need to focus on as far as these goals? Because I'm getting you are manifesting something very beautiful and you're manifesting this not only in your, your spirit, with your spiritual self, but you're doing it in the physical. You're putting in action. You're putting in action. You're walking the walk, Sag. What does Sagittarius need to focus on regarding these goals, regarding this action? The higher fun. Look at you. Work with what you know, baby. This is what you know. You know this. You know how to heal. You know how to survive. You know how to manifest. You know, you know how to pray. You know how to communicate. Look at these people down here with the higher fun listening to the higher fun. The higher fun is a card that not only teaches, but learns. They allow themselves to be taught. Sagittarius, this high fun is you. You are allowing yourself to be taught in this new season and to also teach. Because now you're able to teach this. You probably couldn't teach this at first, but you had to get through with the Ten of Swords. I know that sounds messed up, but our journey is our journey, Sagittarius. And I'm getting you had to endure this Ten of Swords. This betrayal, the lies, the backstabs, you had to endure those things in order to become the higher fun. Because at first you could have really thought you knew more than what you know now. This is a never ending thing, you guys. Life keeps going. Time, whatever that is, it keeps moving. Okay, so you had to go through this in order to know what you know now. And you're getting ready for a new phase. And in this new phase, you're going to learn more, Sagittarius. You're going to teach more, Sagittarius. But you had to go through this first. You had to go through this first. Wow. You need to focus on the higher front when going towards these goals. You need to work with what you know and also allow yourself to be taught and also teach Sagittarius, you are the philosopher. Okay? You are the teacher. But a philosopher knows that they don't know everything. And neither do you. And neither do you. And neither do you. And neither do you. So, be open. Be open-minded. I'm getting that this is a good season for you to um, accept constructive criticism accept this Sagittarius this is a really good season for you to listen to others listen to what others have to say about you but know that that doesn't make you but allow yourself to listen and learn and absorb absorb that knowledge because that's what you've learned to do with this ten of swords that that is what you've learned to do it's time for you to put that into action Put that into action, Sagittarius. The page of wands. Learn, baby. Learn and teach. Be open. You're ready for something new, Sagittarius. You're ready for something new. And it's coming in very beautifully. Very beautifully. Look at you. You are ready. You are ready for this. You are ready for this new beginning. You are ready to learn. You are ready to accept things. Yes. Ace of Cups. You are ready to love. You are ready to be loved. An overflowing cup, baby. An overflowing cup. Because you're in this high front energy. Beautiful. Overflowing. Over, overflowing. Overflowing amount of love with string. Leo energy. An overflowing amount of love is coming in for you. An overflowing amount of love with the high priestess too is coming in for you, Sagittarius. Look at that. People around you are not going to be able to help but love you. Help but love you because of your aura, because of your story, because of your willingness to learn, your willingness to teach. Wow, your willingness to be present, 
your willingness to set boundaries. Wow, Sagittarius, I'm getting your setting boundaries, honey. With this justice and this ten of swords, you're setting boundaries, healthy boundaries. Yes, beautiful. But you're moving forward either way. With this high priestess, you are loved. You are so loved in this new season. It was all within you. It was all within you, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this beautiful energy. Ace of Cups, Strength, the High Priestess, the High Flint. Wow. You got all these major arcanas here. Beautiful. Will of, and another one? And another one. Like DJ Khaled said, we the best. Okay, we'll afford this is your card. Sagittarius. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. You could be manifesting the this knight of cups to come in to give you this ace of cups. To... Sagittarius, what are you doing? I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. It's amazing. The page of swords. And you're learning. You're learning, you're teaching. You have these pages popping up because you, you can have people looking up to you, Sagittarius, and really like admiring your bravery, admiring your story, admiring what you went, what you've gone through and believing in the stuff that you teach. You could be a teacher of some kind, whether that's in you, just in your, you could be good in your community or something, but you have these pages here, the page of wands, the page of swords. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius with the High Priestess. The Moon. You've been through a whole lot emotionally. And you're very, you're very, I, I don't like using the word strong, but Sagittarius, you're very, I don't know what or other word to use. But you're very strong, Sagittarius, emotionally. People really admire this about you. You could be very sensitive. I'm getting that you could be a, a very empathetic Sagittarius. You could be very in tune with your emotions. To the point to where sometimes they can consume you. But Sagittarius, there is a gift behind this sensitivity that you have. There is a gift behind this sensitivity It's like you already know what to expect. You already know what to expect. That is the that is a gift behind this sensitivity. You already know what to expect, Sagittarius. And it's not that those things are going to happen, but you already know what to expect. So with you already knowing what to expect, Sagittarius, you're able to teach before things happen. You're able to guide. You're able to see things before they happen. You could be very gifted, Sagittarius. You could be very gifted. Like spiritually gifted. Beautiful. Tell me more about this gift, the spiritual gift that Sagittarius has under the moon. The high priestess and the will of fortune. king of wands intuition is on point Sagittarius you're in a new cycle your intuition is on point in this season beautiful you could your, your intuition could have developed um, or just excelled extremely well very recently like became very clear to you very recently with this king of wands under the moon wow this is a very good time for you to manifest, Sagittarius. Very good time for you to manifest. What can, <laughs> what can Sagittarius do? What can Sagittarius do with this gift? What can you do with this gift, Sagittarius? I'm getting you. I already know what you can do, but I want to get a little clarification of what you can do 
Because you're, you're able to help people see things and understand things to prevent things. Basically, with this Hierophant, you can see things coming. You can see things before they happen because you've been, you've been through it already. Okay? Time can be an illusion. So, you can, you can help people or help others. These pages, you can help them see things and understand things before they, before they happen. This promotes healing. The Ace of Cups. Strength. Yes. The high priestess, you can see things and feel things before before they occur. But this didn't happen just naturally, Sagittarius. Your experiences made these things confirmation. You were given the gift of confirmation. The gift of confirmation with this higher front and this king of wands. Because of action, you know. Because of action, you know. Because of what actually happened, you know. Sagittarius. Sometimes we have to search for the facts as Sagittarius. We have to go on the quest to, you know, find out the facts about something so we can teach it so that it can be true, so that it can be real, you know. And although we are all different human beings, we all have different layers to ourselves. No one is the same, but we are all the same. You know what I'm saying? We are all the same at the end of the day. We are all connected. So once you learn something, once you learn those lessons that you learned, Sagittarius, with the Ten of Swords under the moon, you've been through the worst, you've been through the best, but the best is yet to come still. You are able to teach this, and that is your gift. You're, you're being gifted this. It's coming, it's coming to light now, you know, about your gifts. But I'm getting you can do a whole lot with this gift. What what else can Sagittarius do with this gift? Because you can help people prevent things from happening because you can see things coming you can probably look at somebody or sit with somebody in their energy and kind of can tell you you can you can tell them exactly what they need to hear in that moment yeah the queen of wands your energy you're very intuitive in your energy and with Sagittarius being an action oriented sign, a physical, a more of a physical sign ruled by Mars and Jupiter, but also it's very spiritual, very spiritual. OK, you can sit with someone. You, you can have the gift to sit with someone and be close to them and understand, you know, their needs and or, or what they may need help with just by sitting with them, with this queen of wands and king of wands. Uh, you can have you could be balancing out your feminine and masculine energy, whatever that is to you. And um, with this king and queen. And you could also have a love offer with this knight of cups, ace of cups with this king and queen. Another fire sign possibly or air sign. Beautiful Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I want to know what do you need to really focus on as far as your challenge? What can be a challenge for Sagittarius? Because, you know, life isn't perfect and things happen. So I want to, you know prepare you or at least help prepare you for the a challenge you may already know what that challenge is but i'm going to pull a card just to just to get a little clarity for you the eight of swords your challenge could be you know not seeing things for, for what they truly are you could not see things for what they truly are and this is a past this this is like a past uh habit of yours so that can be a challenge for you, but understand no one is perfect, Sagittarius. No one is perfect. So just when you catch yourself, you know, in in a energy that you know is no longer serving you, this eight of, eight of swords, just take the time out to breathe and love on yourself. Take the time out to breathe and love on yourself, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me on this reading. I will see you all in the next reading.